double exponential curve fit. Y equals AE to the AX plus BE to the BX. From the book Introduction to Numerical Analysis by Carl Eric Froberg. My motto? Plain honesty, simple truth, easy understanding. The joy of finding things out for yourself. The Simpleton's Mathematical Coat of Arms. In Euclid we trust. 1. To fit a set of data to the double exponential curve given by y equals ae to the ax plus be to the bx. 2. We first have to determine small a, small b, capital A, capital B. 3. Y satisfies the difference equation shown, where alpha equals 1 minus e to the ax and beta equals 1 minus e to the bx and zeta equals alpha plus beta and eta equals alpha times beta are found by the method of least squares. Delta 1y and delta 2y are the first and second finite differences in the y values. Only 1, 2, 3 plus the xy data on the next slide and the solution were given by Froberg. Everything else that follows was deduced by me 10 years after I first read the book. 4. Hence, starting with the quadratic delta 2y plus zeta delta 1y plus eta y equals 0, we can rearrange to give equation 1. 5. From the equations for zeta and eta in 3, we can substitute and rearrange as shown to derive a quadratic involving beta squared, which we can then feed into the quadratic roots formula highlighted yellow, and from which we obtain beta and alpha as the roots. First, we must obtain zeta and eta by the method of least squares. So taking equation 1, we multiply through by the coefficient of zeta, namely delta 1y, to give the equation 2. And for eta, we multiply through equation 1 by its coefficient y to give equation 3. The x and y values for x equals 1 and 1.1 were needed to obtain the finite differences, but have been omitted from the table as they take no further part in the workout. They can be back calculated and restored if required. From the xy data we wish to fit a curve to, we calculate the differences demanded by equation 2 and equation 3, and sum the totals of each column given by rho sigma at the foot of the table. We input the totals into 2a and 3a and solve the equations simultaneously using determinants. Having determined zeta and eta, we can now feed it into the quadratic roots equation to obtain alpha and beta. And using the identities linking alpha and beta to small a and small b, we can determine the numerical values of small a and small b. Then taking our initial equation, y equals ae to the ax plus be to the bx, we multiply through it by the term multiplying a to give equation 4 and repeat for the term multiplying b to give equation 5 and then obtain totals for the five summation sets by feeding the x values from our data set into the equations. We can then solve simultaneously for capital A and capital B as per the equations 6 and 7. Putting the values from the table into the equations gives capital A equals 2.9723 and capital B equals 1.02539. So the regression equation is as shown. The outputs from the equation for inputs of data x are given in blue and we can see that they are almost in perfect correlation with the y value in the data. 
I found it satisfying at the time to derive the methodology to obtain the regression equation, but since then I have never ever obtained any data that required its use. Finally, in, and incidentally, an exponential curve is also a good fit to the data.